வணக்கம் நமஸ்தே நமஸ்கார் வெல்கம் பேக் டு ஜல்பிரயாக் டுடே ஐம் கோன் டு டேக் அ குயிக் ஸ்மால் நியூ டாபிக் ஆன் சாட் ஒர்க் அண்ட் தட் இஸ் கைண்ட் ஆஃப் ரீயூஸ் ஆஃப் த செக்ஸ்டெண்ட் பிரின்சிபல் so that is why it is called a vertical sextant angle if you remember we have already done uh, some presentations on horizontal sextant angle so let us quickly look at uh, the basic difference between what is a horizontal sextant angle and what is a vertical sextant angle and then uh, we'll quickly look at a uh, bit on the concept then uh, i'll uh, give you uh, just couple of uh, examples also to understand how to use it uh, it is actually a v- very simple and a small concept uh, if you look at uh, as a whole and uh, this vsa which i call in a short form usually comes as a part of a bigger question because it gives me only uh, one kind of tool let us see what is the tool it gives us let us uh, start off looking at vsa vertical sextant angle before i actually go into the real concept of vsa i am going to just quickly show you a small animated uh, picture which uh, gives you an idea fair idea for the difference between your hsa and vsa so uh, i'm trying to draw it on the screen uh, please bear with me it is not a three dimensional picture so a little bit of your imagination is needed i'm showing you uh, let us say two lighthouses and uh, let us say i am uh, standing here the person is standing here and uh, these two lighthouses are looking uh, let us say one is on the port one is on the starboard or i can call it left and right of you so they are horizontally separated so i am going to keep my sextant in a horizontal direction and try to measure the angle between these two horizontally so this angle what you get this is what was used as horizontal sextant angle or horizontal angle for short so in other words when i use my sextant in a horizontal plane i get hsa and at the same time if you remember when we did hsa a horizontal angle problem can be done by the difference of the uh, bearings of the two lighthouses also it gives you the same angle as far as you you are measuring uh, using the same instrument uh, it can be your uh, standard compass on your uh, monkey island it can be your gyro repeater which is on your bridge wings or it can be the repeater well within your uh, bridge inside your bridge also so the principle is horizontal sextant angle was uh, as if you are measuring the azimuth between the two light hoses so if you remember azimuth is on a horizontal plane it is 360 degree horizontally around you so that is what is called your horizontal angle okay this we have already done so let us see what is a vsa vsa i use a single object i don't use multiple objects like hsa i can use a single object and this time i am going to keep my sextant in a vertical plane so that means i am going to measure the angle between the top and bottom of the structure it could be a lighthouse it could be a hill top it could be anything it could be anything so when i measure this angle in a vertical plane this is what is called your vertical angle so this can if you if you are using this uh, sextant uh, for this per- particular purpose it is called vertical sextant angle so this is the difference between your hsa and vsa so we are going to look only at the vertical part of it and let us see what we get out of it vsa is very very similar to uh, you using your sextant uh, to take a sight so uh, sun or any other object celestial object so whenever you used your uh, sextant you will realize that i used a term called altitude so the altitude is from your horizon to your object so that is what we measured but uh, when we come to this vsa principle the same angle which was called altitude i am going to call as vertical sextant angle to differentiate why because in your altitude i am using a celestial object but in vsa i am going to use a terrestrial object so i am going to uh, measure the vsa 
And uh, once I measure, I'm going to use a formula from which I can get the range from that terrestrial object. We all know range is one of the position fixing tools and it is also called as position circle, so which is called PC. So one VSA is going to give me only one PC. This VSA formula involves actually radian principle. I'm not going to go uh, deep into that. Uh, it is already uh, derived, so I'm just going to show you the formula. But just for the sake of uh, recap, one radian is 57.3 degrees. Okay, it is uh, based on a circle, so it is 57.3. Now, uh, when we use this principle in the VSA, I can uh, derive a formula where directly I can get the distance of. And let us see what is the distance of. If you look at the distance of from me to that lighthouse, basically it is the range. So the moment I get the range, I can draw a position circle from the lighthouse on my chart again and solve my problem. Or in real life, I can use uh, as a position fixing tool. This is only one tool. Please remember, I get only a PC. So let us look at this formula, what it is. The distance of is equal to H divided by SA. H is the height and SA is the sextant altitude. So H divided by SA whole multiplied by a constant called 1.854. Please remember it is not, uh, uh, it does not depict uh, your uh, length of a nautical mile. Now this is a constant and that has been derived. So please remember it is 1.854. Now I've just expanded what is H. H is the height of the object in meters. When I say height, it is the chartered height of the object in meters. Then SA is the sextant altitude, which is also called as vertical sextant angle also in minutes and whole multiplied by the constant called 1.854. So I'm quickly showing you uh, pictorially what are these values which you're going to use in your formula. Let us say your vessel was here, the lighthouse was here. Okay, so you were uh, so much distance off. I took a vertical sextant angle, theta, and this was the chartered height of the lighthouse, which was given to you in the chart. I use this formula and I can get the distance off, which is your radius basically. Okay, so uh, this is how you use this formula. So let me uh, give you two quick small examples uh, which will clarify how to solve this problem. As I said, it's a very, very easy concept and uh, it'll be a part of your question. It cannot be a full question. It's a very small concept. So let us look at the question. Uh, before you start the question, there is a small correction which is needed on sextant. Why? Because sextant can have index error. So you have to correct the sextant for index error. And please remember, the sextant altitude units should be only in minutes. The chartered height of the object unit should be only in meters. And the final answer, what you get is in nautical miles. So the range you will get is nautical miles. So let us look at the question. I'm giving you a, a chartered height of a lighthouse is 33 meters. The sextant altitude, which I measured theta is one degree, 12 minutes. Index error for the sextant was six minutes on the arc. Please find the range. So you have to be careful. I need to correct the sextant uh, index error. Let us look at the steps. The first job I will do is I will correct the index error. The meaning of on the arc, please remember, on the arc means I have to negate that because it is trying to show me a greater value when I took one degree 12. And I told you, Sextant altitude always should be written in minutes. So that is why I've converted one degree, 12 minutes into 72. I've negated the six minute error of uh, index. So my corrected essay in minutes is 66. Now I have both the values to put in the formula. So I transfer that in the formula. 33 divided by 66 into 1.854. So answer is 0.9 nautical miles. Any nautical miles, please stick on to one decimal is more than enough because uh, 
when you uh, have a medium scale or a little bit la small scale chart you cannot have anything more than one decimal so stick on to one decimal round off that should be enough to conclude i'm going to take one more example let us say this time it was not a lighthouse it was a hilltop please remember on your charts the hilltops will be marked with the chartered height so you need to take the chartered height let us look at that chartered height is 1 uh, 152 meters sextant altitude is 1 degree 45 and this time index error is 3 minutes off the arc you have to be careful is off the arc let us start off the steps my first step is to correct the index error so please look at this if it is showing off the arc index error that means the value which you found out in the sextant altitude which is 1 degree 45 or 60 plus 45 which is 105 you have to add 3 because that is what is the correct answer the sextant is showing you lesser value so i have to add so it is 108 now i have both the values please transfer it 152 divided by 108 whole multiplied by 1.854 and that gives me 2.6 months so uh, this is it uh, as i said it's a very small uh, presentation i get only one position fixing tool which is a position circle and uh, is very evident that if you want to do a simultaneous fix i need two fixing tools at the same time i could have used one more lighthouse to measure the same vsa or in other words let us say i could use as a running fix i could have used this as a first fixing tool at 8 o'clock and maybe one more fixing tool at 9 o'clock i could have used the same lighthouse at 9 o'clock also and i would have found a new vsa and a new range and then i could have solved a running fix as well so this is how uh, a vsa is used in part of your question uh, i'll uh, come back soon with one more concept again which is based on the radian principle there are two principles based on this or two concepts based on this one of them is vsa the second one i am going to come back uh, with you uh, very soon uh, so till then keep watching jalprayag and uh, wanna come no say namaskar